Hey guys, it is kind of later at night over here. It's like 8.45 and I wasn't sure I was actually going to do this video, but I realized I am probably not the only mom out there that does stuff for Valentine's Day, but doesn't do huge things. So I figured why not? I would share with you guys what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. We haven't really decided exactly how we're doing all these holidays. They're just, my kids are just two. And so we haven't really been through all these holidays where we needed gifts. So we're kind of deciding how big to go on each holiday, but it is definitely fun. It is definitely an excuse for me to get stuff. It was up to my husband. He's like, do they really need anything for Valentine's Day? Probably not, but it's fun. So I just want to show you guys very quickly what I grabbed for Valentine's Day. It is not a lot. It is not earth shattering, but in case you're a mom out there that wants to do something, but doesn't want to go crazy, here's some ideas for you. So I grabbed, and I was able to get this for half price on Amazon. What I do on Amazon is when I find something I like, I add it to my cart, I press save for later, and then I can watch the prices. So I was able to see when this went on half price. It is a Play-Doh Kitchen Creation. My kids are really into Play-Doh, and I feel like we don't really have anything like this. We have little cookie cutters, but nothing like this. So this should be super fun. The only thing I have heard with reviews is that this chocolate drizzle makes a big mess and you have to let it harden so that might go in the trash but really I'm not concerned about the drizzle I wanted the little ice cream maker so this should be super fun for them along those same lines I grabbed pink play-doh these are like 55 cents at Target we have a ton of play-doh but it dries out fast I don't know if anyone else has that problem I think sometimes they leave it open on the table and I don't notice it for a little bit and it so it gets dry, but I ended up just throwing some away. So it's, I'm always okay to grab new colors. So we grabbed two pinks. I grabbed them each one of these. So they had one, they actually broke it because they looked at it so much. And these are still the board books. They are little mini look little first look and find. So each page has a Mickey scene, what you should find. They are very into these look and finds. And I got a mini one and a Mickey one. So they should love those. And then the last thing I grabbed are so cute. So we have a little bookstore downtown that is family owned and we like to support them. And I was walking around in there today and I saw this how cute is this so it is a lego duplo little train and it has a unicorn my daughter really loves llamas she has a little stuffed llama so i thought this would be super cute we have a couple mickey lego duplos that this can go with and that's the only one they had at the shop downtown but i was able to run to target and they had one of these left and it is a police car and a helicopter in the same cute little box so these are going to go with their Valentine's Day gifts. So overall, each of the Lego Duplos were $9.99. Play-Doh was 50 cents. Each of these books were $5. And the Play-Doh was $7.50. So not a huge spender on Valentine's Day. Nothing crazy, but just something cute and it'll be super fun. So I wanted to share that with you if you are someone who wants to do Valentine's Day but don't want to go crazy, these are some really cute gift ideas. So I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day this weekend and I will see you later.